Today, I am gonna show you how to connect this to this, to this, to this, and to this. So my customer today has a super renewable house and they're finding that they have a lot of excess solar that they're not using. Rather than exporting it back to the grid, I'm gonna install this eddy, which means that they can use that excess solar to heat their hot water. I'm gonna take you through this step by step, keep this as simple as possible and make this idiot proof. I'm also gonna show you any problems that I encounter and how to get around it. I'm gonna keep this video as honest as possible and share with you any issues that I have. So if you come across them, you'll know what to do. A couple of other things that I'm gonna need for today's installation is this Harvey, which looks like this. I'm gonna need an additional CT clamp and this is to monitor the battery. And this comes with the Eddy, which is a CT box, but also inside we have a couple of little aerials which you need to put on and I'll show you that in a minute. This is the cylinder stat and I'm gonna be breaking into this cable here and mounting the Eddy around here. This is quite a heavy bit of kit. So when you install this, make sure you mount it on a wall where it's not gonna fall off. First of all, undo these two little screws. Wiring this up couldn't be simpler. You have your supply connections here, live, neutral, and earth. And then on this side here, you have H1, H2, two neutrals, and two earths. That's if you have two elements to connect it to. Today I only have one, so my terminal, my cables will be going in H1, neutral, and earth. And that's it, easy peasy. There are two screws that you must undo to separate the eddy from the mounting bracket. So first things first, I'm gonna get this mounting bracket fixed to the wall, roughly about there. Make sure your bracket is nice and level and mark your holes. Today I'm using the chalk marksman. I love these things. And then drill your holes. These bricks are too hard. I need to get the SDS out. I was trying to limit how much gear I got out of the van, but it looks like it's all coming out again. This is the Makita dust collection system. Clip straight into the drill and you're ready to go. This is a relatively new toy to me and so far I love it. That thing's brilliant, by the way. Next, get your wall plugs, hammer them in, and fix the mounting bracket back. And then pop this back on. And nip these two little screws back up. And that is the eddy mounted. So what I'm gonna be doing is breaking into this cable, basically, which goes to the water tank. So I'm gonna be disconnecting this cable, putting this into H1 terminal, and then putting a new cable from the supply into this that way the supply will then come into this and then out to the water heater make sure you isolate it first this is a double pole switch that i'm removing now so i can get to some live terminals to identify if the circuit is live or dead i know i shouldn't use a volt pen but i can hear it beeping so if the consumer unit isn't labeled up properly then at least i'll be able to hear it when it turns off Now I'm just disconnecting this cable. So with this cable, the way it's been connected up in that is, you can see it is stranded like that. What they've done is folded it over and connected it up. What I'm gonna do and what you should do really is put ferrules on this. You'll get a much better connection. And then trim off any excess that's protruding the ferrule. And that's how it should look. So this cable I'm installing it actually goes to this side, but I'm taking it in this side because I want my supply cable to come up here. I don't want my cables to cross. I'm just a bit funny like that. So the brown goes into H1, the blue goes into neutral, and the green yellow goes into the earth terminal. And then we have these cable supports, so just make sure you put your cable in that. And hopefully there'll be a couple of screws somewhere for this, which I haven't seen yet. The screws for the cable support are in this little bag here, which is in the CT box. Okay, so what we've got now is these connections all done, these connections all done, and these are all done, and I've ferrelled this end up as well. Inside this eddy, you have two CT terminals here, and these are to be used if you're hardwiring your CTs to the grid and to the solar. Today I'm not, I'm gonna be using the Harvey and connecting it up wirelessly. Once you're up to this stage, you can pop this cover back on for a minute. With the screws, hopefully you haven't lost. So install wise with the eddy, we are basically done. 
Once that's on, you have two little aerials here. One's got a female end and one's got a male end, so make sure you get them round the right way. Next, it would be plain rude not to just stop, have a cup of tea, and enjoy a biscuit that Bob has kindly bought for me. Thanks, Bob, you're a legend. Once you're up to there, it's time to turn the power back on. And what you can see here is on, off and bypass. There's a switch underneath. Just turn it to on and you'll be greeted with this. What they've done here is put a sticker on without the plastic bit. So we'll get that off and it'll ask you to set up the time, the date, blah, 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 blah. And you do this by using these controls here. Well, once you've connected this to the internet, it will do it on its own. Next, we're at this stage here and it says, this is the setup wizard and is it the first device installed or an additional device? So this is an additional device because I have a Zappi installed already, which is the master. So what I need to do is I need to go into menu and I need to go to device settings, advanced, and then I need to go to link devices. And I need to go into pairing mode. And then I need to run to the Zappi and get this done over there as quick as I can. So excuse if the camera here is crazy. I have 119 seconds. And then on the Zappi, what I need to do is go into menu, go down to other settings, then go to advanced. And then I need to go to link devices, pairing mode and it's a searching for slaves and there's the eddy. So I select that and it's gonna do a device update. Perfect, and that is now paired up. Next, what I'm gonna do is just connect the eddy to the internet. I was hoping it would have done it by connecting it to the Zappi, but it hasn't. So I'm gonna do that now. If you're not sure how to do that, what you wanna do is go on your mobile phone, go into your settings, go into Wi-Fi, and then what you're looking for is my energy. So you click that, and what you'll have on the screen here is a password. You need to input that into this now. And then say join. And then what will come up is this here. So you need to put in a new password, create that yourself. And then once that's done, what you'll see is a list of the available networks, hopefully, which I've got here. Phone call, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I'm back. I've lost my screen. I'm gonna do this again now. So find the available network, the one that you're gonna to join to, and then enter that password. And then say connect. And if I've entered it right, what you'll see on the eddy is, ah, oh, we've failed. So where it's failed, I've probably put that password in wrong. So I'll do it again. Try it again, let's see what happens this time. Failed again. I need to review this password. Here we go, third time lucky. When I wrote this password down, I have a a Z and I've, it looks like a two, the way I wrote it. So, my fault. ER2, don't know why I'm reading this out to you. Come on, third time lucky. Boom, connected. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna go to firmware update and download that. That'll take a little bit of time and when it's done, you'll see this at 100%. Once it's done, what you'll see is this status, complete 100% and we can just go back. Now what we can see here is the load on the house is 0 0.5, 0 0.3 has been imported and 0 0.1 is generated by the solar and the max temperature has already been reached. So any excess solar now will be going to either the rest of the house or the vehicle if it was on charge. Looking at my customer's phone here, we can see that he is using 0.6 kilowatts, generating 0.2 and importing 0.4. We can also see the eddy on the screen now as well. So what my customer has here is a Lux Power AC coupled battery system. And what I wanna do is try and incorporate that into the MyEnergy ecosystem. And that's gonna require the Harvey and another CT. So in here, what we have is battery storage and that's the circuit there for it. So I'm gonna take this cover off and put a CT clamp around it and then install the Harvey over here maybe. And just a quick tip for you. I didn't realize this ages ago, 
but when you take off the cover of this and you want to mount this to a wall what, what you'll find is it's impossible to mark holes there but you can just snip these out so snip them out then you can mark your holes and then slot this on and do it up I'm just going to put a little mug on this MCB so I know which one is the battery storage. So we already have several CTs in here and that is, one of them is mine for the solar and the other one has been installed by the battery guys and I need to get another one in here. The way they installed this circuit is not the best. What you can do with the CTs as well is cut them down if they're too long, which is what I'm going to do today. Excuse the camera wobbling, I've got it balanced on a bit of cardboard. Get those ends stripped off. And then in the back of the Harvey you have these CT terminals. I'm going to be putting it in CT1. Red in the positive, black in the negative. And then just push that back. Now I'm going to turn the power back on. I know I've got the cover off, but I am an experienced electrician. I know what I'm doing, so I can do this safely. The reason I've left the cover off at the minute is I want to check that I've got the CT round the right way. Now I'm going to give everything a minute to load up, set up, and then I'm going to go over to the Zappi and pair the Harvey up with that. Now on the Harvey what I have is that green flashing light which you'll see in a sec, which means that this is operating, there it is. So now I'm going to go through the same pairing procedure with the Zappi and the Harvey as I did with the Zappi and the Eddy. On the Harvey, if I push the button, I put it into pairing mode, it flashes blue then, that tells me it's on channel one. And then if I go back to the Zappi, go menu, other settings, advanced, link devices, pairing mode, and then we have the Harvey there. So I will select that now, let it do its thing. And then if I select the Harvey and then go down to CT1, select that and go to AC battery and then go back. With a bit of luck, I'll now see it on the MyEnergy app. So what we can see here now is my customers, my energy ecosystem. There is an additional battery symbol here, identifying my customers battery storage system. So that is that all working. So that is it, we're all done, covers back on. On the app you saw it's picking up the batteries now, the water heater, the solar and the Zappi. So that ecosystem has now been built on this job. Hope you found this useful and informative. Subscribe to my channel.